Hey everybody, track of the morning to you, laddies. It is uh, Sunday, aka Monday by the time you're watching this, and I gotta tell you, it's go you're not gonna believe me, it's gonna be a little bit of a shorter track of the day, just cause I gotta also fit in uh, GeoGuessr this afternoon, Sinvicta is back and convalesced. We should have about 40 minutes though to get it going. Um, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to load the track of the day please. And I think I'm primed for Trackmania because I just finished Deadly Premonition 2 and all the narrative twists and turns involved in that game um, have, have got me ready to take some narrative twists and turns of my own. Down the road of life is a highway and I'm gonna drive it for a little time. What do you think Tom Cochran thinks of self-driving cars? By the way, how'd we do? Top 7 in BC last time. That's a little above average. Top 111 in the Egg Carton. It's probably a little bit above average, honestly. And we're on Terracotta. Let's see what the Discord says about it today. Let's see what the Discord says about it today. I didn't do checkpoint reset practice at all. Where did you get your trophies? I mean, it's not merely to talk about track of the day, so... I'm not mad that there's other Discord or other discourse in the Discord. Okay, I have no idea. I it's a lot of talking about multiplayer servers, which again is totally fine. GPS? Ooh, look at this. Look at the 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 artistry. Okay, pretty standard. Then you come okay onto the grass. Yo, great scenery too. This person put a lot of care into this. We got some elevation, we're on the grass. I like they're showing two different lines too. So it looks like a lot of like... Um, like a hilly sort of concrete, and then wide turns on grass. Very interesting. It, I just can't get over the, the cinematography. <laughs> it's shot so well. How long is the track? Oh, dude, it even takes you through Monaco at the end of it. Oh, that's tight. That's tight. <laughs> they hit you with a little dirt corner at the top. All right. Following the dirt corner, you come down into the Sultan's Bazaar. And we're still on checkpoint meta. I mean, it's got to finish soon, right? A minute four. A minute five. Through the Colosseum. <laughs> All right, it's a one minute and 12 second lap time. That's wild. This course seems kind of incredible. I don't know how fun it is to drive. That's something we'll figure out as we go here. I, that can't be the proper way to do that. But um, what I would hope is that as a result of the fact that this level creator clearly put a ton of care into this level, Maybe they, they will be nice and benevolent enough to have not made the author medal insanely difficult. Boy, wouldn't that be a nice change of pace. Anyway, this was a, a terrible version of this corner. I, I acknowledge that fully and readily. But we're just trying to get a feel for how we're doing so far. I, I'm like stunned. Oh no, dude. That is a little dangerous. I honestly think we might want to... I'll pl just play against any opponent for now, please. <laughs> I think we might want some opponents available here. We got a gold, we got a bronze, we got a silver. Okay. Just somebody to kind of keep us in line early on on this one so we don't, you know, waste a lot of time. Especially with the lap timer being so long. I think having some indication, especially of how the gold time's doing it, would be wise for us. But we're not going to sweat our own time. We're not going to sweat our own time too much. To begin with here. Who are we looking for in first? It's the Dutch car. Could still do better there. Losing speed to the bronze medal. Not really where I want to be. I don't know if it's exactly bronze though. That's true. It could be a little over bronze. Same like the gold one doesn't mean that it's like the minimum gold time. Not my favorite corner there. Well, there's not much point in having the ghosts on if we're uh, not going to be around the ghosts. So I guess we do need to kind of do a clean lap. This is... Uh, I don't think it's that hard so far. The jump seems like it could cause us some trouble for sure. Yeah, we got to figure out what's going on there. That might be a... 
That might be a little bit of a slide situation, like the Goo Goo Dolls, John Rzeznik. Dude. This one's starting spicy, but you just where we at? We're like five minutes in? It's very simple, just don't get locked inside your own head. How are you guys doing this? Not like that, huh? I don't know why I thought that could possibly be the solution, but turns out that's not the solution. We're already losing some time at the start, too. That's a little bit better. That, that felt a little bit better. So we, we're lighter on the throttle there than you might expect. And here, just keep those wheels turned as you come down. Look at that, no problem. Heavy around the inside. Keeping pace. Let's see what this gold boy gets up to up here. Comes up, it comes down. Silver passes me, that's fine. I, I mean, I could use a little silver, honestly. I don't know, do we have to lay off the throttle here, though? I, I will say there is a part of me that's like, I don't really understand what you're supposed to do there. Maybe you need more speed, and then you make it over without clipping that part. We can try. No reason to get... <sighs> no reason to get disheartened yet is what I was going to say. Um, it's a long lap, though. You know, it, it's one of those times where it would be nice for us to make a little more progress a little faster, without a doubt. Because, uh, not necessarily because we're strapped for time. But rather, just because the lap time is so long, we got a lot of apparently deceptive elements to learn here. Gonna, yeah, yeah, yeah. More along the outside there. Silver's gonna pass. Oh my god. <laughs> On the GPS, it looked so beautiful. It was like, this is just a scenic drive through Tuscany. Actually doing it, I'm like, this is a... It's not a meme track necessarily, but it's deceptively technical so far. I'm willing to give it that full stop. Also, you gotta keep in mind... Maybe if we make a mistake here, we'll hydrate a little, get ourselves uh, back on uh, back on the case. Because uh, this is the first track mania I've played in 48 hours. Normally, like if you're a professional F1 driver, you get three practices before the Grand Prix. I'm jumping into the Grand Prix I haven't driven in 14 months, like Nico Hulkenberg. Okay, that's definitely not the way you do it, but maybe we can still salvage something here. Wonder and just keep it straight for now. All you need to do is not clip. I think if you don't clip that, you're fine. Or maybe you could take the left pass, or maybe you just lay off the gas in the air. There's no point in doing a checkpoint restart yet, because um, we're we're not taking the corner at speed because of our previous elements. So it's all right. Just stay in there. You don't you don't need to be in first. You don't need to be in first with these guys. Just need to follow along. As long as you're still in eye shot of them, that's the most important thing. Are you laying off the throttle? No, you make it. Okay, you just make it over that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rome. There's no denying... Oh, dude. There's no denying... The beauty of the track. I would never suggest this track is anything less than lovingly crafted. A little bit punishing on the on the old driving impulses, no doubt about that. That's why we use the checkpoint restart appropriately at certain times. Really? Like, I know we didn't use checkpoint restart there, but do you really have to be going like full speed to make that jump at the end? That's gonna be a friggin' doozy, dude. I'm a little nervous um, that we're even gonna be able to put down the silver today, but we got a long way to go. I wouldn't let yourself get too concerned just yet. Got a long, long way to go before this gets super bad. I think we're going fast enough. Oh, don't clip the roof. After all of that, don't clip the roof, dude. You know what? Take a little break for hydration. This is a, a landmark course. It's beautiful, but it's coarse and rough, and it goes everywhere. 
There you go. Just keep yourself... It, it's like... Um, I, I swear to you, you're not gonna believe this. It felt like the wheel was yanked for me. It's a surprisingly technical course so far. I don't dislike it. But I will say it has a higher skill floor than maybe any track of the day that, that springs to available memory. Little off on that one for sure, but... Silver's gonna pass. Or be close, at least. Just aim... straight between the bells of Quasimodo. It's, it's an incredibly punishing track. <laughs> you know, I've talked about uh, the dilemma of like, hey, when you have a, a really, really tough element, it would be better to have it at the start of the course than at the end of the course, because it's less frustrating. That's just my own, as a player design, you know, as a creator, you may feel differently, but... Um, this is like... It, it has reminded me that it's a false dilemma, because you could just have all of the elements be super hard which is really what's happening right now. Pretty much all of the elements that you have on this track hither to this point are a catastrophic problem if you uh, handle them poorly. And I'm not talking about like clipping a wall. Oh my God, the terracotta just jutted out. But I will say there is something about these tracks that are, that are made with this design philosophy if you'll allow me to push up my nerd glasses. Usually, a clean lap is good enough to be in the competition, for, at least for silver. I don't know about the gold, but... And we've, we've surmounted difficult tracks like this before. This feels like possibly the most difficult, but... 12 minutes in, I don't believe we've even come close to having completed a lap so far. It's a bit of a nightmare. That one's on me. <laughs> They're all technically on me. But man, oh man. The GPS told me a, a very pleasant lie. The lie that it told me was, uh, hey. Oh my god, again. We kind of, we tried to steer in the dip, I think, is the problem. Hey, this will be a fun track. Look at all the work that went into it. It's not, not a fun track. I just think that the barrier to entry for fun might be a little bit further along than on some other courses. Still doing great, and we're improving the opening section of this course for sure. I don't think anyone can deny that. Now it's... Got other sections we also want to improve. As long as we're ahead of silver, we know... Oh, we hit a little bump there. I'm hopeful that's not going to compromise our speed. Let's go. I mean, we used to never make it over that, so that's something. Good speed, good acceleration, good momentum. Now just hold it together, but... Remember, sadly, I do think you need a ton of speed oh, no. to make it through this upcoming jump. This might allow us to get the full speed. Oh, I ate it! <laughs> it's all right. We're, we're moving the problem downstream. You know what I mean? We're getting to the point where we... Uh, we know what we need to do. And we, in the early levels, not always in first place, obviously. It's the airtime that's causing us to feel like we're losing the wheel there. Not always in first place. In fact, not ever in first place. But at least an awareness of, of what we're trying to do here. That was very smooth, honestly. That was smooth. I left a little more rubber than I would have liked to back there. Still very much holding it, though. Little late on that corner, but not late enough to be concerning unless you clip the wall. Oh my god, dude. This is actually a dark horse for, like... Like a track that I've... Res you know what this movie reminds me of? Um, the, the French art house film High Life, starring Andre 3000 and Robert Pattinson and Juliette Binoche. I respected everything about its creation, and uh, while watching it, I was like, not having a good time. Not like it's making me think uncomfortable truths or whatever, it was more just like, kind of 
frustrated and bored out of my skull at the pace in which it was moving, which was admittedly a deliberate, um, you know, choice in order to serve the actual tone of the film itself. But simultaneously, um, I, I turned it off halfway through because I was like, you know, it's uh, a little backwards, maybe, but I can't be watching this something boring if I'm trying to go to bed. Anyway, it's kind of how I feel about this. I'm like, man, a lot of... I love the idea of this course. A lot of love and care went into it. And at the same time, just haven't hit that capital F for fun yet, but I'm, I'm hopeful that if you keep an open mind, don't get too tilted, we could get there one day. We could learn to have fun. Lost some speed. Should still have enough. We've gotten a lot better at that section. Still had enough. That was very close. I hear you, Silver. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I don't mind. I don't mind Silver being ahead of me. It doesn't bother me that much. Just want to make sure that we're still moving. Still holding it together. You got to aim for between the rooftops. It's just like, I mean, the course is, is fine. In fact, it's clear that like it's a labor of love, right? And it kind of reminds me of Suburbia from a few days ago. Well, like a week and a half ago, maybe. Uh, three weeks ago? I don't know. Time is a flat circle or whatever. Um, that course I originally very much was like, I don't like it. It's a meme course, yada yada. And then once we got a little bit further in, we're just going to try to let this one ride. Once we got a little bit further in, I was like, you know what? I think I was a fool. This course is actually quite a lot of fun. I'm hopeful that we can reach the same point on this one. For the moment, I wouldn't say I'm skeptical, but we got an uphill battle for sure. That hurt. Um, but it's it's hard to dislike a track like this, right? Because it's just, you know, it's clear the, the person that made it, they know what they're doing. Just because the degree of difficulty just to even complete it is a little higher than I'm used to does not a bad track make. I think I was a little... <laughs> That's close, too. That's close to the end. Oh, my God. We're 17 minutes in. We haven't seen the finish line yet. That's scary, dude. And it's not the ghost problem at all. Like, if you want to see your name in lights, I get it. But, uh... I think we got to just... I mean, I always have, like, this very similar flow chart, right? We got to reach a basic level of track competency before we worry about intricacy. Now, on this track, they're kind of one and the same. Cleared it. Sorry, I got a little mud on the tires. Dirks Bentley. Yo, we held speed way better than our, we usually do there. Silver's still coming up behind us. I respect it. Bro, though. Bro, though. That was... You know what? Thanks for the hill. That's all I'm going to say. Thanks for the hill. Yeah, we almost made it. It's the kind of track of the day that makes you wish you played... Uh, on Saturdays instead of Sundays. Let's put it that way. But anyway, we're, we're not getting tilted. We're not getting tilted. Criticism is not tilt. In all situations. Who made this? That's tilt. Who made this? You can just walk over it. It's like Ubisoft in the day. will put a bucket under a bull's diarrhea cockadoodoo. Sorry for those of you watching at home with young children. That language is vile should not be tolerated. Like... <laughs> just... Just trying to... Please, please, I just want to complete the track. It's, you know, let's just say this is one of those times where, like, I'm a Formula 3 driver. And, um... They're like, hey, kids, you want to try Monaco? And I'm like, yeah, it's iconic, it's beautiful. And then you actually... You know, drive it, and you're like, I'd like to stick with, you know, Tom's Loop. 
Tom's loop is more on my track right now. We can min-max Tom's loop. But I'll tell you, there is some magic. The timing, dude. There is some magic in a uh, in a course like this. Just by putting down a clean run, we might rank decently. You know it's true. I'm not saying I'm performing above expectations. I don't know if I'm performing below expectations, though. This is like a genuinely really hard course. High degree of difficulty on many, many elements. Also, like, the end of this track is, like, the tightest I think I've ever seen a track in Trackmania. But I guess we haven't even seen the end yet, have we? Remember, you gotta turn left early there. Yeah, 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 that's good. That's good ducking, dipping, and weaving. I, haven't, I don't care if that corner is bad. I'm just happy to be here at this point. There you go. Learn from the ghost. I did turn at the last second. We still made it. No. It's alright. It's alright. There you go. There you go. There's the finish we're looking for. That's good enough for a silver. Top 100 in Canada. With no checkpoint restarts. I mean, we're late in the day, too. It's 4.45 p.m. To be top 100 in Canada with that is an indication, I think, of where the degree of difficulty is on the track today. And I'm not worried about the split in the slightest. <laughs> like, of course, I'd love to be faster. And there's time to be gleaned, but... The real problems we got on this track is uh, has very little to do with being, you know, slightly back here. Oh my god, dude. You gotta be like, you don't have to be perfect, but you gotta be pretty flush in there. Well, I'd really like to get the gold. I don't know if we have to beat the time that is here for the gold medal to get that gold. Leaving a silver on the track of the day would... It would leave a slightly bad taste in my mouth, but simultaneously, I am like, you know? You know earlier where I said, like, I feel like they might have a generous author time here? It's possible. <laughs> it's possible that's the case. But I don't think so. I think this is Jigsaw. Like, I looked at a beautiful machine and I said, oh, that's cool. What's that for? Like, stripping grain? And then they went, no, it's you put a man's head inside of it and then twist it until his skull cracks. You know, that's... We, we mistook genius for um, empathy, and that, that's not what's happening today. This track is designed by someone who gets the wrong kind of pleasure out of watching this video. And let's just leave it at that. Unless they're in the egg carton, in which case, great on you. This is a, it's an amazing track. The likes of which I've nary seen before. And again, don't even sway, you know, if they end up, if I end up being slightly ahead of me, then so be it. In this business, we're, we take that. Because we're predominantly concerned about uh, our checkpoint meta. Oh, we're going to be a little... What? <laughs> I, I'm like a little mad, I guess. I'm like, I felt like I was right in there. Maybe I was a little slow, or maybe I... I did feel the car rattle a little bit before the jump. A modest degree of frustration crept in, but that's okay. Keep it moving. Keep... Oh, this is... Top to bottom, the best front half of this course we've ever done. Smooth sailing through here. There you go. You let off the you, you let off the throttle a little faster. Now focus. Oh my god, that's okay, it's okay. Remember, this is all about checkpoints. Even you, you learn some valuable lessons about yourself on that corner. You touch the terracotta army. You never touch the terracotta army. They might crumble. I'm going to be too far left here. 
dude. It's just like... I mean, I'll say it, okay? Like, I think there's a difference between respecting the, the artistry of the course and enjoying the course. I don't find this course very enjoyable. It would be low on my list of courses to replay. And, like, seeing this come up in a track of the day server and having five minutes to navigate it sounds like a, a GD nightmare. Um, but I definitely, like, I, I mean no disrespect to the creator. You know, I'm sure there's people out here who, if they take the time to crack into the nut, they'll get that delicious meat on the inside. Now, we're going to be a little back, but that's okay. Like, quite honestly, I just need an easier track. <laughs> I don't want to frame it like, oh, you made this mistake, this mistake, this mistake. It's, it's really just... It's difficult. And, I mean, like, okay. There are a few times where I'm like, I get the artistry involved, but also... Um, the obstacle density is a little rich, but... Again, you and I might have uh, different ideas of, of what we're looking for. But I think this is a track that's going to frustrate some people. I'd rather have an ice tunnel any day of the week. But sometimes frustration's not all bad. You know, I was uh, frustrated by many levels uh, that Apollo made in uh, Checkpoint League. And then, you know, once I hit a certain level of mastery on them, I was like, actually, this level owns and you're just being a baby. We're okay. Remember, you go over, you turn left faster than you think, and then you stay on the throttle. You just clip the terracotta. By the way, why is that there? I don't know. To suffer? You think God ever stays in heaven because he's scared of what he created on earth? And then here you can go full throttle as long as you don't... I was going to say, as long as you don't go over the hump. If you go over the hump, you get airtime. If you just stay on the bank, you're fine. Like this is a dream come true. Still okay. I thought we were going to lose it there. It's a decent turn. Not worried about losing to myself. When the silver passes me, that's where I start to have some questions about where I'm at, but... It's alright. we still got about 15 minutes to try to string together a good lap here. I mean, you know what? This is a, kind of a nice change of pace, honestly. It sounds weird, but, but to suffer so mightily just to complete a lap is almost refreshing. Now, I don't want to ever see it again. But I must admit that I'm like... As, as frustrated as I am, it's like hitting a different emotion than your average track of the day. It definitely feels more like a, a Super Meat Boy level than just like slightly... Oh, that's no good. Algorithmically improving my, my station. Well, we're going fast enough because we're, we're faster than our PB and our PB made it. A little bit off to the side on that one. We want to stay low on this corner. Good stuff. Then we want to turn left faster than you'd think here. And then keep that speed. Okay. Then this part. You want to exit to the right so that you can come around full throttle. And keep your speed high. Then we can definitely go full throttle here as long as you don't go over the hump. Dude. You, you have to go flat out there. If you don't go flat out, you're not going to make it. I do kind of... I mean, it's a strong word, but I do kind of resent the placement of a... Uh, of an, an obstacle that's so... Uh, like, basically critical to your survival. I, I do resent its position so late in the level. I'm just missing the dopamine of, like, crossing the finish line. I mean, we haven't played for 29 minutes. We crossed the finish line with our car one time. And it's not really about how many times you cross the finish line. It's about the value of each time that you do. But, like, this is a, a new record in terms of misery, at least. That's okay. Sometimes you need a, a track of the day to your laddies that separates the wheat from the chaff. And right now, I'm chaff. Which is pretty sick, because I don't think chaff gets eaten. Wheat, on the other hand, is turned into bread. So who's the who's the chaff now, wheat? Who's the chaff now? Make it? Oh. With bells on. 
Good, 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 good. Stay on the camber. You take the turn. Left faster than you'd expect. Stay on the throttle. Good sidewinder. We don't sweat this one too much. Just want to stay in there. We go to the right. Pivot hard left so we can stay on full throttle. Now here you enter the terracotta army. We were a little high up and we did not go flat out. And of course, as a result of that, I mean, we actually could have made it if I had picked my spot a, a little bit better, I guess, but... That, it's really like I've gotten over the early obstacles. Is that final ramp that's still bugging me a little. Also, the fact that the elements of the course that are supposedly not that hard are actually like um, twisted concrete snakes, where if you go over the wrong side, they eat you, you into the wall at like Mach 500, but, you know... That's relatively minor in the whole scheme of things, I suppose. Good, good, good. Straight wheels. Hello, Ruka. You doing okay, buddy? He's having a good day. Who is it? A beautiful Sunday. Sunny. Made it in. Okay. This is the first time I've ever been punished for turning immediately upon landing. I'm begging you. Not not for me. I can take it, okay? But the little egomaniacs out there that are watching from home are so frustrated they're tearing the hair out. They're say they're saying turn on different ghosts, you know, as if the way that the ghost completes the courses was stopping me. Um, they're saying use checkpoint restart and I'm like it's actually not that bad of an idea, but um, simultaneously like I, I you know we're, we're kind of stuck at the same obstacle to begin with every single time um, I'm worried that if we checkpoint restart we won't have the speed necessary to make it like if you don't have the speed necessary to make it on the first pass I don't think you're gonna have it on the second pass either but admittedly I could be wrong that might be good advice I think our wheel going off the track oh I thought it was gonna cost us okay that one's on me we need to give them a little dopamine okay they've they've had too much oxytocin. Sorry, no, not oxytocin. That's the attachment neurotransmitter. We're giving them too much acetylcholine. Need to cut down on the acetylcholine. Give them a little dopamine to flood those receptors. It's like sweet and spicy. They go well together. You flood the receptors with a little bit of spicy, and then you give them a little hint of the you know, the honey glaze afterwards. People will lose their freaking mind. What is this? And I go, <laughs> ketchup with Tabasco in it. Okay. Good stuff. You avoided the terracotta army. This corner, let's be honest, could use some work. And yet we're still here. Okay, now don't go over the hump. Turn faster than you expect. Stay low on the hump. I dare not speak. I dare not speak. I dare not speak. Let's go. It's still silver, so you really do have to beat the gold, huh? That took us to top 60 Canada, which, considering the fact that it's like six hours after I normally record these, I actually think is pretty amazing. And that was a clean lap. We definitely did not give it all we got. You know in that song, Give Me All Your Lovin', All Your Hugs and Kisses too? Just a man, we gave them all of our hugs and kisses, but we didn't give them all the lovin'. We still got more, I don't know what that leaves left. Let's not, uh, you know, dabble in that topic. You never know when YouTube might decide to poke their head in. Hey, the Cardi B, uh, Meg Thee Stallion music video is monetizable, but if you say, uh, you know, vague, innuendos in your video you get demonetized no big deal i mean i'm not again trying to besmirch their right to to monetize their art i'm just asking for the right to monetize mine as well now send it okay we we like it's just a it's a very malevolent track and i mean that in a in a, the nicest way possible like a double black diamond ski hill is malevolent right yet at the same time it's fun if you're an expert. I suppose. I don't know. I'm still on, like, blue circle or green square. Whatever it is. I think it's green circle, blue square. But anyway. 
Screw. If we're gonna get that gold, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you with like a, a little hot take. I do not think we're gonna get the gold. I'm being serious with you, Ruka. Don't look at me like that. I think we're gonna be with the silver today. But I do, th and this is not making excuses. It's just the reality of my increasingly dwindling time. Um, were it not for a crunch today on time, I think we could grind out the gold, but it would definitely be a little bit more like, you know, we're probably talking about a video that's maybe an hour long. Or maybe we could just do it right now. I don't know. It would be nice. I'm, I'm learning to love the track in the, in the sense that, like, I know what I want out of it now. Yeah, that's going to be a little slower for sure, but we can make up a lot of time later. So you grip it, rip it, stick with the sidewinder. Send it. That's a full send. Can't afford to lay off the throttle here, so just get over it. Now turn early. Turn often. Almost. <laughs> oh, my man. It's a tough one, dude. It really seems like this is kind of a unique track in the sense that, like, it seems like the difference between, like... Well, that's not really fair. What I was going to say is, like, it seems like the difference between the medals is really just how many times you have to checkpoint restart to get them. That's not true. I think you do need to have a, a pretty good lap without checkpoints just to get a silver. Bronze was quite lenient, though. Which was nice. Remember those days? I don't actually, now that I think about it, I don't think we ever got bronze. I love it. I just love when I'm like doing pretty well, but then I just hit a bump in the track because uh, the whole thing was paid by a Montreal construction company. Can't believe, dude! I can't believe we're 37 minutes. This is it's pulled out a Fall Guys style uh, amount of salt out of me. There's no doubt about that. But it, it's man versus man, and also man versus track. I don't know if that's one of the, if that's one of the uh, classic conflicts in fiction: man versus self, man versus man, man versus nature, man versus. Could, it, extremely malevolently designed despite its intricacy uh, track mania track of the day track don't get me wrong I can see why this got like upvotes I can see why it got certified as a, a positive track by the track mania community uh, but I would just ask the track mania community maybe hey like uh, don't be such Melvins you know I love you track mania community but this is this is the kind of course that you, you can't show to uh a new driver, you know what I mean? This is like introducing someone to Magic the Gathering by playing Legacy. They might be like, ooh, cool card art. But, you know, next Friday they're going to be like, oh, sorry. I got other plans. Okay. Good jumps. Good jumps. Stay low here. That's low enough. Now I'm in control. Early left. Stay on that throttle, dude. Little bit spicy. Oh my god, we're so lucky. It's alright, cool. Stay on the hump. Had to lay off the throttle not to go over the top. I'll take it. I'll take it. Send it through the Arch of Agamemnon! Okay, well, you, you know, all things considered, I thought we did okay there. Man, we literally got like two laps in us here before I, I actually have to be done. So I hope you'll take this as a, an apology, but also like... I mean, first off, it's still a pretty long video, but secondarily, we've given it our college try. Like, I'm, I'm telling you if, you, if we did a brain scan and I showed you my neurological activity over the course of this... You wouldn't ask for an apology, let's put it that way. You would be apologizing to me. You'd be like, every single neuron is firing at 100% capacity. Except for the ones I don't want you to know about. Okay, now keep it moving around here. This, we still got a chance here. 
You turn left early. Keep the speed up through the sidewinder. That was a big one. Hate the drift, but that's okay. Ooh, nice drift. Now turn early. 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 Oh, my Lanta, dude! Why would you make it so tight up there? You can't see the landing point. That makes it so hard to, like, line it up on the ramp with where you want to be. It's just, it's, it's ruthless. I agree, it's malicious, it's malevolent. This is, this is brutality. No, Jarek. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. Genuinely, this has to be our last attempt. So we're gonna, okay, like, let's be realistic, but this, it has to be our last real attempt. Even if we get, like, halfway through the course on this one and fail, this is gonna do it. But this is one where I'm like, man, if I have free time, like, late at night tonight, I'd at least like to erase the silver from my, uh, from my list. Because <laughs> it's a blight, and I, uh, I don't like that jump there. I'll level with you, but I, it's a blight, and I would hate for me to see that for the remainder of August until we move on to the next track of the day month, but... This is alright. We know that there is a, a point on this course where we can actually cut about a second off of our time. Along with all the cuts that we can hopefully do in the meantime. That's good moves, dude. That's good moves. That's good moves. This is the point. Just grip it. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> I gotta give you one more. I'm sorry, Simvicto. I'll be one minute late here. I'm just, I'm very upset, honestly. The degree of, of, uh, Execution required to get even the slightest hit of that sweet, sweet dopamine today. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I'm thankful that our track did not get ruined right there. I'm sorry, Civic. I gotta give this, I gotta give this one more try. Because we were like right there. And I don't expect you to understand the justification. I just, I know we clipped it. I know we clipped it. That's okay. Just gotta be like a killer song. Drive like you mean it. Woo woo. This is bad, dude. I mean, I don't think it's a bad episode. I think it's a great track, that, well, in many ways, <laughs> that we managed to circumvent. Like, we. Or not. Well, circumvent is the complete wrong word there. We did manage to overcome, you know? We, we completed a couple of clean laps. One of them was just shy of the gold, which again is not really where I wanna be. This is embarrassing. Like, I mean, I do look forward to the tips today, but I really, like, I, I shy away from the idea that there's kind of like a magic bullet, unless there is one that I'm unaware of. I really think that it's just long course, plus um, that jump at the end that, you know, requires not perfection, but precision. It's created a situation where it's very tough for me to to string together all the elements that need to get strung together, you know what I mean? But this is our last attempt right here. For real this time. For really real this time. Early. Hard on the throttle. Don't clip the wall. You can go late on this one, that's fine. We lost a lot, but we still had good speed. Gave up a little much, I think. I'm actually, like, a little upset. <laughs> I'm upset with myself, but I'm also upset with the, the maker of the Trevi Fountain, that uh, it happens to be a slightly raised element that's exactly the same color of alabaster as the, uh, as the basin itself. But, you know, take it up with Leonardo da Vinci. I'm willing to admit, I have no idea who made the Trevi Fountain. 
Was it Trevor Trevi? Trevi Chase? Drove the Chevy to the Trevi, but the Trevi was dry. Maybe that's why they made a fountain. Okay, great stuff, great stuff. We're getting there. Early left, heavy gas. Didn't hit the Terracotta army. This corner is fine. Could have been better, but was fine. Turn early and often. Straightish wheels. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'll see you tomorrow. See ya! <laughs>